Line your bottom up, please. Right there? Yep. What is that? So we line the bottom of the touch too. So what we do is because we're gonna pre-drill, we make sure our panels are lined up on the bottom. Once they're all lined up on the bottom, we need 17 panels. We will clamp them, then we'll pull measurements from the high hut from the bottom of J trim to the center of the uh, uh, ha of the hat channel, and then we'll do the same measure, same measure the next one up, and we'll check it all the way down, make sure they're right. Then we'll mark these and pre-drill them. So when we stand them up, your sprues are going to be perfectly straight. It's no chalk line needed, nothing. It just it's a, it's really a good look because when a customer looks down your wall and they see your screws do that, they're going to get pissed off. So we pre-drill so ours are nice and straight. The top one, we don't pre-drill it. We just reach over and screw it because you never see it. So it's real important to have your metal lined up the right way. And we line them up at the bottom and then you can pre-drill and it makes life really good. It's just a really good looking building, but it's just, you gotta take pride. If you're doing these buildings, take pride in it. How many is that, three? Four, four. So good. Yep. No, no, to the left. You're right. I'm sorry. A little more. Right there. Right there. I'm oh, sorry. My left. You're right. Okay. We're gonna grab a panel. So that's where your center high rear barking on the top of your hat chop. That's where the center is gonna be for high rib. Well, what we did is okay. So this is my three foot high rib, which is my first layout. So what I did is I just went to put my level on here and made a mark there because it's not a tall enough level. And then he took my, I took the, my, my string line and I ran up all the way up to his point and then he just put it right over the, my layout there. So now I got a starting point to make my level, my, my panel straight going that way. Because I could eyeball to do a four foot with a six foot level, but I'm not gonna rely on this thing to be perfectly straight because it is metal, it does that. So we've learned that if we do this here on the first panel, he's in center high rib, I'm in center high rib. It should go relatively straight. He can just, after that, he can mark three foot and I got three foot. So that way we're consistent going all the way down it. So that's why we did it. Now we're ready to stand a panel. So it'd be good. Okay, let's do the panel. Now, you sure if you're in center, I should be perfectly level. So now you can see my bubble. He's right on layout up there. We're absolutely perfectly level. So now he can screw that up there. And then we can just screw it off and we keep going. This is a new company for the panel, so we're kind of anxious to see how they go for, for layout. Okay, so you're gonna do those and look. But he's, you know, that's on hard for you. You got a long tip. If you gotta live and die with your three foot overlap, it don't matter if you're using the 26 gauge, 29 gauge, whether you get it from Versus Tube where you get it outsourced, it doesn't matter. It's still three foot outside to outside from high rib to high rib. You ready? So you can go from high rib there, it's one foot to center here, two foot to center here, three foot to center there. It's raining, it's raining screws. So sometimes if I have a joint like this, and then my three foot's here and here, I'll go up here and I'll do one foot if it doesn't work, or I'll do a two foot if it's close enough. If I feel like I need to put three to keep this joint, you know, if it's really bad too far away, I can put a screw here and it'll hold it because it's still, still on the center of the high ribs, which it doesn't hit screws. 
you don't put your screws in the high rib and it goes in here, it's gonna punch through your metal. So that's why we do the high ribs. Sometimes this joint is really, really loose. If the three foot is, so, so say this three foot screw is right here, but this three foot screw is way over there and this is really floppy, I'll go, say, say this is my mark normally, I'll go here one foot and put a screw in which will hold that tight and it still will hit in the center of my high ribs so it doesn't hit your metal and, and give you a bad spot in your metal. So th this one here, if it gets far enough where it's, by the time I put the panel in and screw it through, it'll be tight. But if this thing, if this layout was right here and the other screw was like two and a half feet over, I would have went one foot and put a screw right here so it would have been tight on this before it took the panels. These are inch and a quarter tech screws and they're using, they use them for the, putting the insulation on and you can screw them. We like these because if you use real short ones, by the time you get, you get it cut to the threads, it's already squishing the rubbers out. So if, by the time you hit threads on these, you can let off and it'll... If you look at these rubber, these washers, there's no rubber being shown. And you don't want, you don't want that little piece of rubber squished out of your wash, out of your, out of your screw head because that can create a leak. So that's why, that's why we use these, these long screws. Because by the time it gets through and it cuts, you hit threads, you can let off your drill and it'll snack it right up. It'll smack it right there tight. Okay, we did a little bit of panels today, a little bit of J trim, kind of give you guys a bird's eye view of how we do the J trim, how we do our panels, the layout. Uh, I got a little bit done today with the hat channel, eave corners, uh, all that stuff. But as you can see, it's about to get really nasty here. It's already real windy. So you don't want to put these panels up in the wind because they become a cell and they will cut your head off. Uh, they are sharp. So uh, we're going to be a wrap here and hopefully tomorrow we can do some more. Cross our fingers, it's supposed to be 89% chance of rain. But hey, this is Arizona, you never know.